The Motor Vehicle Dealers Act, under which the compensation fund operates, has had a dramatic change. The limit of compensation has gone up from $15,000 to $45,000, which reflects the reality of the marketplace. Not too many cheap cars out there. It works because, first of all, the consumer has to do their own homework and to take all available measures to get compensation by dealing directly with the dealer. If that is exhausted, then they can go to the Ontario Motor Vehicle Industry Council or to the Compensation Fund, download the forms, and the procedure and the forms themselves have been simplified and made easier. The thing to remember is that we're talking fairly big dollars now, 45000 in maximum compensation. So OMVIC has dedicated and professional inspectors that go out there and make sure that everything is above board so that the dealer's fund is not being tapped into by people who don't deserve it. And on the other hand, consumers are getting the justice that, that, that they deserve. My experience is that most people who come before the trustees to get compensation, get compensation. As I said before, the inspectors are there to do their job. People generally go through the process of trying to get restitution on their own, and we're the last resort. Our staff, to reiterate again, does an incredible job of making sure that we're well briefed and we know what the issues are. At the end of the day, possibly historically about 200 people a year get compensation but I'd like to point out 200 sounds like a lot of people but if you look at the total number of car deals that go through in a year this is a minute number of people who have been quote ripped off by a dealer for whatever reason